Alex Obanda. I play for Australia Lion. Opening batsman. Okay, today's match again is uh, Obuya Academy. It's a new side which has joined the Super League. You are also, also you just joined the Super League. What, what is, how do you feel? Yeah, I feel like uh, my first game, the team welcomed me so well, and and uh, the first game we uh, we had uh, I can say easy game, like we just. Uh, less total and we managed to get it yeah do you think, I think uh, you played well mm. do you think Obuya was a very strong side in terms of because they they dropped you, you in the early of the match yeah i think uh, they've got a good side is is just that uh, they are lacking like uh, i can say few bowlers because uh, they have uh, experienced guys likes of uh, David Obuya, Kennedy Obuya, and uh, Colin Obuya, and uh, they've got good, good youngsters also. So they just need to to get like two more bowlers, then they can have a good side. You've been away for too long, uh, and now you're back. What's your feeling? My feeling is good to be home, and I feel good to be to meet my friends again and um, I'm looking forward to have a good uh, good season. Do you expect uh, Sri Lanka as what to take to take the league to this year? 100% mm. we are taking it. Mm. Uh, my name is Gary Chirimi, I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm here, I'm playing for Australia Lions Cricket Club in the Super League Division. I'm a wicket keeper batsman. Uh, what really inspired to you to come to Kenya and play cricket? Uh, Compared to Zimbabwe, is they are ranked higher than Kenya in terms of one day status. Uh, yeah, yeah. In Zimbabwe, there's no cricket at the moment, so mm. I've decided to take this time to come down here, uh, learn a bit of uh, from Kenya international, get some experience going on. Do Do you think they have something to learn from you? I think, uh, yeah, I've got something to learn from them and also I've got something to give to the younger players who are coming up. What, uh, what is the difference between South Africa, uh, Zimbabwean cricket and uh, Kenyan cricket so far? Uh, well, mainly the difference is um, in Zimbabwe there's first class cricket. Mm. Here there's only one day cricket, so, but mainly there's no difference in terms of quality and stuff. But uh, yeah, as I said, I'm here to learn and also to give something back to the youngsters here. Yeah. What do you do during the week apart from playing cricket uh, over the weekend? On Wednesdays and Fridays we do practice, obviously team practice. Uh, some other time I, I do gym and some other times I get to know a bit of Kenya because I've got some friends over here. You've been in Kenya for some time uh, now. What do you enjoy most in Kenya? Food uh, and... Uh, uh, to be honest, I haven't really eat uh, Kenyan food apart from uh, Tota's wife. Uh, <coughs> Tota's wife made me a good dish for my birthday. Mm. I really enjoyed it. I don't know what was it, but I really enjoyed it. Mm. So you don't know what you're eating? Uh, I don't know. It was rice and chicken, but mm. I don't know what the uh, dish was called. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. For me, I'm taking it as a role for myself in the team to, to get the wickets for the team. Thank you very much. No, what's your take in terms of uh, inclusion of four new professional players in the league? Uh, this is what uh, we're happy to have uh, the tournament back so that uh, at least the cricketers can get something uh, to do. Something they're busy doing rather than staying at home. I mean, with the pandemic, it's been a difficult time. We're just staying at home and trying to keep safe. Now they've got a league to play and uh, the Super League is actually very competitive. Um, in regards to professional players, getting the league, any league, it's important that you get professional to strengthen the sides because uh, those professionals over time, even during the heydays of Kenya, Kenya players learn from those professionals. They come, they play for you during the weekend on Sunday and during the week they help 
the youngsters and the other players within the squad set up to improve on their techniques. So a bowler could learn from a bowler, a wicket keeper could get something from that. And also the batsmen would teach people how to play certain shots against certain bowlers. So the inclusion of uh, professionals is very important. If you look across the world, uh, people who are serious with their cricket and leagues, um, they'll always call upon uh, professional players to beef up their sides to make it competitive so that even the youngsters if they want to break into the team they need to get to replace one of those players to be able to get so it makes the league very competitive you've been to this uh, cricket for a long time you can actually say where the mistake is and where the mistakes are not basically what is your take in terms of uh, uh, recruiting new umpires um, in, terms, in terms of umpiring, um, recruiting new ones, we've, we've done a bit as Kenya Cricket Umpires and Scholars Association in terms of recruit, recruitment, but of course it's, it comes down to the willingness, whether people are willing to play. Of course we target people who played cricket before and then uh, now they probably have free time or they've retired. Uh, but it's not everybody's job. Uh, some of them will not enjoy empiring, uh, empiring duties in the middle. Others do enjoy. So um, it's it's a, it's usually a personal call. We ask people, and if they're interested, they come across. We offer them the training, and they can join uh, umpire association and uh, give something back to the game in terms of uh, being the decision makers for the matches. How do you join the umpire association? Uh, it, it's not difficult, Chris. Um, all you need to do is. Uh, um, if, if it's somebody who's retired and they've shown interest, they could just contact Ampers Association. Uh, we have officials they can call upon and we are reachable. Um, so it's, it's just that simple and then followed by training. And then after that, we'll give you a few matches to start with at the lower divisions initially and then you grow up as you get better to the top leagues. Do you have an uh, age group target? Uh... Um, not really, it depends, but um, a good age probably to start is about 35 going forward. I probably started a little earlier myself, but um, it depends. Somebody can give, it's something that you give to the game. If you probably are not good at playing, batting, not very good at bowling, and maybe you're struggling with the game, you can join and padding and get something to do for cricket rather than just sitting on the sides. What motivated you most to join Empire? Um, for me, it was, it was, it was, it's an interesting question because uh, I joined a little earlier than the, the rest of the guys and uh, that was motivated by the fact that I wanted to be better at what I'm doing and I wasn't a very good player uh, per se, so I spent a lot of time on the sidelines, played very few matches and so I thought there was something I could do for the game. So, so can we say that you, most of the time you are the 12th man? Uh... Yes, I was. I was a 12th man for about two years um, um, at Shinkana earlier on in my years. And then after that, I thought there was something I could do for the game. So I tried a padding and it, uh, it clicked. So I decided to stay with it. Thank you.